stop shop for all your Excel needs. In today's video I want to share with you a gym workout progress tracker that you can use to track your workouts in the gym. I personally use that for my own uh, workouts and uh, I think it's something nice that you can just take and use if you like that sort of thing. Um, it's based on Google Sheets so it's free to use and it's unlimited and it's got a few simple formulas that you can use and just take it from there. If you're new to this channel, then I'm constantly adding content about Excel, Google Sheets, uh, functions, formulas, scripts, nice things that you can use. So make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out content. And uh, with that said, very simple file, one sheet. Uh, everything is here, nothing very uh, fancy. So here you have the uh, area with the muscle group and the exercises. Each each line has its own exercise. Then you have the last workout, which calculates the maximum value of the last exercise. The concept is if you did one, one of these exercises, then you worked on your uh, specific muscle group. And here is also the name of the uh, muscle group. We're going to use that to... Uh, flag out the next workout. So uh, each column here has the date where you had that workout so it doesn't have to be every day you see it could be random days and you just key in the weight that you lifted uh, for each exercise. Um, this formula is needed for this column. This column shows you the number of exercise in the last 30 days so it's a simple count ifs. It looks for the specific row that you're in greater than zero and also this row which is greater than zero row number two row number two checks today uh, minus whatever number of days you have that you uh, identified and checks if it's greater than this date if it is then um, then it's not included if it isn't it is so if I change this to seven days these two values are not included so it will show only one uh, exercise. If I change it to 30, it will jump to 20, to 2, sorry. Um, and that's just something that you can use if you want to see how many exercises you do per day, per month, per week, per, per year. And uh, you don't have to have a column for every day for that to work, which is nice. So you can just have a column for every time you made a, uh, a workout. The last exercise date is a pretty complicated formula that I actually found, um, so I just used it, <laughs> so I can't really explain it to a degree, but uh, it works and it will flag the, uh, I mean it will pull the, 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 the value in this row based on the last value exists, and you see it gives you that last exercise date if I put here a number. And here, number it will reflect the dates. So you can just take it at it as is. Or you can deep dive, dig into it, <laughs> but it works. So the last thing that I have here is this one. Uh, I'm looking for the minimum value in this column. So you see, each of them have their own uh, workouts and their own last date and I'm just always looking for the last date the maximum value so I'm basically looking for that value so I'm trying to find the value the minimum all right and I'm matching it over here so I want to find it and then I'm indexing this column where I have the name of the muscle group beside it so it's always going to return that value that's it. Very simple. Uh, and of course, if you want to add another date, you just add another date and uh, copy the formula and that that's it. And then just type in the, the weights or whatever. And of course, you can use that to track, uh, I don't know, running, swimming, anything that has uh, something that you want to check over time. 
And of course, you can always look and dissect, okay, my progress um, per exercise. Uh, you can see the progress if, if there is any and uh, take it from there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. That really helps. Subscribe, and I will see you next time. Take care now.